makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Go see Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. <sighs> Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books, so technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? <sighs> Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... You still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Who can resist that?
Fasten your seatbelts! I'll take that. Poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. Slinging fail. I'm starting to wonder why anyone would keep working at Oscorp. this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different for me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Harry... ...really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. It's all for me. 
He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. You're a fake! A coward! This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you could eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. So fear and mistrust. But he is little more than a beast. It was inevitable he would have to be removed. Always one step in. It'll be hard to spot him in these streets, but I have to try. I can smell your fear. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test. To see how strong you could be. You could stomach this feeling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. But shadows. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. You're deliberately moving really slowly? It's like some sort of mind? I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. You are a worthy deal flail around like a drunken sailor. Think of it as a sticky, gooey, smelly sweater. Right? Always one step behind. The trees. Find him before he springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. Hey, pay attention. I'm not gonna do this again for your benefit. That will not be so easy. To the death! No! That's your way. On my watch, no one dies. Huh. That was fun. Let's do it again. A 
I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. Fisk has that kind of influence. I should hitch a ride on one of the trucks. See what he's up to. <laughs> Time for alternative transportation. Now that's fun! driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself.
Tell him we've got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, Bob. Only one thing will work on this door. Ionic weapon. Huh? I have eyes on Spider-Man! That'll come right out with some cold water. Let's see how you do hand-to-hand. -hand. All the armor in the world can't fix stupid. Sometimes I even impress my Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shift. I tell the boys. Task Force cops working with crooks. No. Who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. It's ionic weather. Ironic. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Somebody there? Bruno. Scary, but I'd work for him over the Osborne kid any day. That guy's got issues, man. That armor's too big an advantage. I need to equalize things with ionic webbing. with catchphrases. What do you think? <laughs> Armor might look cool, but it doesn't make them any faster. Crap batter, the top on police officer. You've been busy, Spider-Man. Care less more crimes to the list. I'm not sure about the kingpin. I don't like working for a guy whose name I don't know. His money's green, and if you ask too many questions, it's bad for your health. That's all you need to know. Like the 
a disabled task force. Wasn't all that on webbing is just for the I'm doctor sure you're quite deep with yourself. But the knight is young. It's like a bouncy house, am I right? And of course the Daily Bugle never gets pictures of me winning like this. If I take out the guys giving orders, it'll mess up the whole organization. The spider! Could be worse! I could be mucus man. And those guys? Yeah. yeah, not good. Please, Spider-Man, be a little more police officer. They'll make wonderful new footage. I've got the spider. I might just have a future at this. Judges give Spidey a perfect score! Okay, the judges are just in my head, but still. guys are giving orders to everyone else. Let's see what I can do to stop that. <gasps> now take some time to think about what you did wrong.
was that? I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Robots anything. These robots don't talk your ear off. I may have to take a direct hand in this sordid matter. <sighs> no more games, Buffalo Bud. Just you and me. That's what I'm talking about. Elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. Well, if it isn't the kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tukas. Which must take, what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare me. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some fantasy? I live in the real world, Spider-Man. So bad your high school yearbook photo was taken from a helicopter. No?
left out when I used the seismic blast. You are so fat. When you cut yourself shaving, marshmallow fluff comes out. You're so fat I could have you arrested. Ten pounds of crack. By which I mean... Spidey dance party. Well, more of a seismic blast, really. You're so bad, when you wear a yellow raincoat, people yell, Taxi! <laughs> you are so bad, when you cut yourself shaving, What do I pay you for? Get down here! What people do they want? It's men like me to make the hard choices. To make the wheels of the world turn, so they can work their jobs and live their small lives and get a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone strong is in charge. Hey man, I get it. You were a bully, fat kid, and now you want to get even. You want to start a software company? Be my guest. But when you start hurting people, when you turn into the bully yourself, I'm gonna shut you down. Nothing about my life! You have no idea what I've done to survive! So talk to me, let's hear it! You hired Craven, Cletus Cassidy? You're so proud of it, tell me what you did. I like hurting people, let me show you! This will shake you up! Uh, I'm sorry, that was corny. When you wear a yellow raincoat, people yell, Taxi! Seismic Blast! You're so bad! When you go camping, the bears hide their food! They'll shake you up! Okay, I'm sorry. That was boring. You're so bad, your high school yearbook photo was taken from a helicopter! No? Oh. I'm not a fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. 
He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah? We'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop... All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!